Ah, and here you are already. You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Just so, did you? So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? To survive, I suspect. That is the common nature amongst all such creatures, the will to survive. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. You were not there. You did not see what... what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are not Dalish. How can you know how we had to struggle to be safe? How could I have let their crimes go unanswered? I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. And what if it is revenge they want, and not talk? Will you safeguard me from harm? I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages, worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being, but such powerful magic could not be accomplished 
without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestor, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I, I cannot do it. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, Spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end.
It's over. She's gone. And we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Compared to the beast inside that we had to fight every moment, this is just fine. It feels glorious. We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We... will never forget you. Very well. It is done. Zathrian has banished all traces of cursed blood from the Hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. I suspected. But Zathrian did not like to talk about that. Nonetheless, the curse is over, and no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you.
come to check on my Hala and I again, have you? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Yes, that's it. She's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another Hala was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Masiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Oh, if only it were so. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Indeed, that is primarily what this tome details, the various daughters that Flemeth has acquired, their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I and to be her next host. This is my purpose. I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else, or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds, so she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. 
She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp, confront her, and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. She would like everyone to think she is invincible, but I highly doubt that is the case. And besides that, you are not truly killing her. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. dear of you. Thank you so much. Oh, marvelous. Is that for me? Really? Wow. I'm... Wow. A fine gift. You have my thanks. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? I did not mean to sound ungrateful, it is just... Wait, these are Dalish, are they not? My mother was Dalish, and had a pair very similar to these. The leather was less thick, and it had more embroidery, but these are very close, and quite handsome. Do I seem surprised? Perhaps I am. Still, I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. You called. I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. Something on your mind? Of course. Same way you did. You drink some blood, you choke on it and pass out. You haven't forgotten already, have you? Let's see. I was in the Chantry before. I trained for many years to become a Templar, in fact. That's where I learned most of my skills. It's really for the best. I'm not exactly the Chantry type noticed. I don't think I would have made a very good Templar. The Grand Cleric didn't want to let me go. Duncan was forced to conscript me, actually, and was she ever furious when he did? I thought she was going to have us both arrested. I was lucky. I wondered that myself. It's not as if she valued me highly. I think she just didn't want to give anything to the Grey Wardens, is all. The Chantry didn't lose much. And I think I can do more fighting the Blight anyhow, rather than sitting in a temple somewhere. I'll always be thankful to Duncan for recruiting me. If it hadn't been for him, you know, I would never... I wouldn't have. He was. A good man who didn't deserve his fate. That much I'm sure of. Come on, let's go. I think I'm done talking. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. 
It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. And that is something to take joy in, no? So, tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? Arl Rendon Howe? The Arl of Amaranthine? Why would he do such a thing to you? You are... you are the last of the Kooslands? I had no idea. My lord. Yes, I suppose so. You can no longer have a title, can you? But that does not mean you must forget utterly where you came from. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did not. Perhaps it was meant to be. True warrior and worthy of respect. <laughs> 